Here's a message from C.J. Lovick, author of the widely popular Living Word in 3D series. Watch as he unfolds a mystery hidden just under the surface. The first time the Hebrew word translated into English as compassion appears on the pages of Scripture is in Deuteronomy 13, 17b. It is there we read the following, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show thee mercy, and have compassion upon thee and multiply thee as he has sworn unto thy fathers. The Song of Moses prophesies that the children of Israel will not heed God's warning to love and worship him alone, and as a result will bring upon themselves dislocation, heartache, poverty, and too many sorrows to even enumerate. This is the context for the introduction of the Hebrew word literally translated compassion. The Hebrew word compassion is composed of three letters. They are resh, chet, and mem. Let's discover what this word means in the picture language of the Hebrew. Resh is pictured here as a prince. The question is, what prince? Are we talking about the prince of heaven or the prince of the power of the air, the illegitimate ruler of this world? The second letter in the Hebrew word for compassion is Chet. Chet is pictured as a fenced or walled garden or inner room. It means to separate out in order to provide protection, a place of refuge, a secure sanctuary. Finally, Mem is pictured as waters. In this case, it is the picture of flood waters, waters that bring chaos and destruction. There is no mystery as to the meaning of the word composed by combining the first and last picture letters in the Hebrew word for compassion. The first and last letters of compassion in the Hebrew are Resh and Mem. Resh Mem is the picture of the dark prince of this world that causes confusion, chaos, and death. The Hebrew word for deceiver is Resh Mem, exactly the same two letters that bookend the Hebrew word for compassion. So here we have a picture of mankind that is on the pathway that leads to death and destruction. The dictionary defines compassion as a feeling of deep sympathy and sorrow for another who is stricken by misfortune, accompanied by a strong desire to alleviate the suffering. So the question is simply this, where is the compassion in the Hebrew word compassion? The answer is found when you look at the picture letter that the Lord yod heh vav -Heh has put between to separate the prince who has deceived mankind from the chaos and death that will be the natural result of his deception. The answer to this is both eloquently simple and powerful. God in his mercy has intervened into the middle of this destiny, a destiny of death and destruction. The prince, Resh, and the chaos and destruction that is his stock and trade have been interrupted by Chet, which is a refuge and sanctuary of safety. The picture of compassion includes not only the alleviation of the heartache, but also the description of how God does it. God's compassion is not about anything ordinary or mundane. It is about eternal life and eternal destruction. Could anything be more serious? So who is the ultimate and ideal sanctuary and refuge that promises eternal life? It is Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the sanctuary that gives compassion its everlasting significance. In Matthew 11:28, Jesus addressed those in need of compassion, and he said unto them, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are literally hundreds of precious mysteries found in the ancient Hebrew. To learn more about this word and other Hebrew words, subscribe to livingwordin3d.com and we'll send you a new word every week.